In today's video, we're going to be talking about Tropical Storm Tammy. <clears throat> we talked about this last night in our late night discussion that we did. A lot of you actually enjoyed that. I was pretty surprised because usually later on in the day, the videos don't perform as well. But yesterday's for some reason did really well. I appreciate you guys for tuning into that. Today's will be at a little bit more of a normal time as we discuss Tammy, the cone forecast, the upcoming pattern, and big temperature changes on the way. Before we get into things, as always, be sure to check out Prestige Weather in the description and pinned comment down below. We did just release our third winter forecast as early access over there. So if you want to see that a couple of weeks early, be sure to check it out today. It's only five bucks a month in the description and pinned comment down below. Let's just dive into things in Tropical Storm Tammy. There's some big updates here. First off, we're at about uh about 50 knots or 60 miles per hour thousand two millibar low pressure center there as this one is slowly going to make its way westward then northward and then maybe even eastward at the end let's take a look at that cone forecast real quickly and as you can see we now anticipate this one to upgrade to hurricane status which is the biggest update here by about saturday morning and you can see that that one is going to stay at about hurricane status all the way through Tuesday morning. So over the weekend, we're going to be see this one basically remain a hurricane for quite a while here as it's expected to continue to intensify pretty, pretty significantly. Uh, we're only about 15 miles per hour away from hurricane status. So I would not be surprised to see that happen a little bit earlier than anticipated as well with how intense this one already is. Let's dive into this upcoming pattern and the jet stream is going to be a pretty big focus point here for us. We can see that we have this ridge in the east that we've been seeing and trough in the east here. So ridge in the west, trough in the east pattern, pretty classic stuff. As we take it towards this afternoon, we can see some storminess on the way here for the eastern states as a whole. 1,002 down here over the Carolinas, 997 here over areas near Michigan. Certainly going to be a pretty stormy day for the eastern states as we reach tomorrow afternoon you can see that we are going to develop a 985 millibar low pressure center as a nor'easter offshore of new england and this one is sure to bring plenty of wind and plenty of rainfall with it of course as most major nor'easters tend to do by the time we reach sunday afternoon though this one is going to be wrapping up as it's now uh, kind of weakened down to a 991 millibar low pressure center near the coast of maine we can see this is still bringing plenty of precipitation to most of New England and the Northeast. We can also see another storm system moving onshore to the Northwest. So this is going to be a common occurrence in this model run. By the time I reach Monday on the 23rd, we can see that there isn't really any major low pressure centers of, uh, kind of associated with this. It's much more showery activity along this jet stream. We do have kind of the Southern jet and Northern jet merging there. And that is helping to just bring in this activity. By the time we reach Tuesday, however, we are going to see a lot of moisture rising in through the four corner states and through into the plains. A lot more of what you see typically in the spring and summertime. We're going to be seeing here in the mid to late fall time frame here. By the time we reach Wednesday, we do have a little bit more of a major low here near the northwest. 999 here bringing snowfall mostly to Canada and some of the far northern mountains there in the northwest and then rainfall for the lower elevation areas. We still have kind of this Gulf stream of moisture moving in this way, and that is continuing to bring some storminess as well. Let's keep going, and by the time I reach Thursday, we can see that 999 has now weakened or strengthened to a 996, bringing plenty of snowfall here to south central Canada. We do have a little bit of some snow shower still for some of the Rocky Mountains, and we still also have this stream of Gulf moisture here. But I think the important thing to note is that we see more of a pushing trough in the west and more of a really surging ridge in the east. And when you draw the jet stream, it's something like this. That is going to be the theme here in the later time frame. We can continue to see this kind of frontal boundary in here with this stream of moisture heading into it. That is going to continue to bring precipitation to a lot of different areas there. We have another storm system here for the northwest again bringing snowfall and rainfall depending on where you're at and then for saturday october 28th we continue to see some snowfall here for these areas and overall when we take a look at the total snowfall we can expect to see quite a bit and at the very end of the model run we do see a 998 developing here wouldn't be surprised to start to see more snowfall fill in for these areas with this low pressure center as we're seeing a jet stream something like this this is likely to move northward from that point very interesting. 
total well total snowfall i guess we're doing this first i switched it up yesterday and kept it this way but we can see that the northwest corner of the united states is expecting quite a bit here anywhere in the grays is a dusting if anything blues two to six inches purples are six to ten pinks are ten to twenty there and then your pastel blues are going to be 20 inches plus we see a lot of that for the cascades and the rockies overall plenty of snowfall expected for those northern mountains and that's going to be where uh, we see the most starting to happen that is typical but we're going to start to see that spread southward and more southward over time to the sierra nevadas further down in the southern rockies etc over time the total precipitation here no surprise that the northwest sees quite a bit this does include the snowfall as well by the way um in inches of precipitation that falls so not you know the ratios because usually it's about a 10 to 1 or more snowfall rate so for every inch of precipitation that occurs you get about 10 inches of snowfall so we're taking that into account here two to five inches of precipitation here for the northwest a lot of that will be rainfall but for where it's snowfall that could translate to 20 to 30 inches of snowfall um now we also see where this gulf stream and the nor'easter is just sent sending moisture this way constantly the northeast kind of gets a double whammy because they get that gulf stream but they're also getting that nor'easter that moves in and that's why we see a pretty considerable amount up here as well now as we move into the temperature pattern we can see things are warm out west and cooler in the east overall but this is not expected to last too long as we see this switch by the time we're reaching about the 26th time frame so we are going to see this generally kind of closing out and and switching up we can see that that surge of warmth continues through the end of the model run here on the 29th so we see this warmth surging there is some pushback from some of this cold keep in mind so there will be some colder areas it's not going to be incredibly above normal temperatures but it will be warmer than what it has been and it'll be warmer than what is typical as well we see cooler air overall here for a lot of the northwest and that is going to help that snowfall out a lot that is going to be the one of the main factors really helping to contribute towards a lot of snowfall as we keep going with the long range we see that warm period here for the 27th through the first and very cool out west so again snowfall during this time frame is going to be the main concern with that colder air moving in but we can see that that quickly for the beginning of november shifts eastward and we start to see this positive pna build back in so perhaps a, a, a short term pattern is what that will be and we see the colder air surging southward as a result of this air mass out west and really we don't see that change too much we do get a negative pna here around the end of the model run so cooler temperatures in the west here equals negative pna and we get the opposite we get the warmth surging here you see it on screen and that's very similar to what we expect also for the end of october here as well but for the end of the model run we start to see things trending towards warmer times out west again so again not to get confusing but a positive pna once again and colder air moving into the east here once more anyway thank you so much for watching this video i know it was very straightforward and very brief but that is the entire upcoming pattern including the tropics the storms the snowfall and the temperature pattern as well be sure to subscribe we do upload videos just like this one every single day you can even hit the bell icon for daily notifications when we upload so you never miss one be sure to like the video if you did enjoy it leave a comment down below and i'll see you guys in the next video